five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm finishing off my back rails from a tub and then want to get this thing out the front and get some perspective. I'm looking forward to that part. So that's done. Um, that's stepped in here and over and around. When I flip the chassis upside down, I'll do all the welding underneath. Should be nice and strong. So yeah, we have a spot to put our tray now. Let's stick it on. So what I plan to do, we'll do something fancy with the back for the tail lights and number plate and stuff. Timber in the back with some steel reinforcing of course. She's coming together nice. Righto, it's another day and um, I've been doing a little bit of work. I have welded on my top shock mounts. So shocks are in. Um, I had to cut quite a bit off those original mounts. I don't know where they came from. I got them with a heap of stuff off a of mate. Um, I guess they came from the internet somewhere. They were junk. Um, they were welded to this plate, just tacked on. Didn't take hardly anything to cut them off. Um, so the welding wasn't really sufficient. And then I had to shorten them. Um, so I had travel up and down from this point. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So now we have front shocks on the beast. Much less bouncy bouncy. I've still got to do the rears, really. I've only got weld on a bracket on either side because the rears are done. They were mounted on that old chassis. Just sort of weld the top brackets on. I'll do that a little bit later on. Um, what I want to do, I really want to get it outside, but my roof level is not right. That back panel, if you don't know about that back panel, it's been a nightmare. There is um, a couple of uh, videos on that one, but uh, I need to take probably another inch out of the top of it, but I don't want to take it out of the window space because the window is small enough, the back window, um, because the roof is going to be on too much of an angle. It's just not right. So I'm going to take another inch out of the top of that, lower the roof down, then I can tack my side panels in, and I really want to get this thing outside. It's been raining. It's been a pain. You know what? I'm not going to do that right now because I just had a look and it just frustrates the hell out of me and I just don't feel like it. So I'm going to do that another day. What I want to do is get this thing outside, so let's just get it outside. There's a break in the rain. Um, I've got to move some cars around. Let's get some side perspective of this thing. I have a radiator. We'll stick the grill shell on. Um, we'll get an idea what the thing's going to look like.
Side Shot Sunday. Well, there you go. I finally got the uh, elusive side shot. My radiator arrived the other day. I ordered a shorter one because I need to drop the grill down a little bit. So that's going to work out really nicely. I don't know how much longer I've got before the rain comes, but I really can't afford to get this thing wet. Too much bare metal. What do you reckon, stinker? Hey? Go on, back. Go back. Good girl. So, yeah. Looks alright. Definitely a high boy. I've had to drag everything out to get this thing out here. So when the rain comes, it's going to be a mad rush to get everything back in. But yeah, I've got some nice big headlights. I need to get some, um, they're nine and a half inch. I'm not sure what they were off. Um, maybe an old Chevy, they're a commercial headlight. They're huge and I uh, just need reflectors and lenses for those, so I'll go on there. And the more I play, the more I'm thinking fenderless. So there you have it. We finally got it outside. I'm seeing things I've got to do, but it's all part of the build. And really, people don't believe me when I say this, but I'm on the downhill slide. Most of it's done. It's um, it's just a big Lego set. It's all the nitty gritties that take a bit of time. Um, most of the nutting out's done. I've got a little bit more to do on the rear end. Um, I've got the steering sorted. Just got to get that part. Um, the body's going to be the biggest issue. The body's a massive job. And I'm referring to this abomination of a panel. I'll get it. I'll get it sorted. But it's just slowed me right down. Imagine if that was done. I'd be so far ahead. You can really see the difference in height there. And that's sitting a little bit high. That's how much I've got to take out of that panel. <sighs> I'm really happy how the front suspension's turned out. Although it's stock height. There's more to lowering the front end one of these than just putting a dropped axle in it. All your spindles are different because you've got to allow for your wishbones or your steering. So when you drop it four inches, generally this gets in the way. Um, so there's a lot more work involved. I could put a two inch drop in it. I've probably got one of those axles kicking around, but this will do for now. It's working. But I'm happy with how that's turned out. Suspension looks good. The rear end looks good. Tray looks good. I won't be running those wheels on the front. I've got some 17 inch um, 35 wire wheels and tyres for the front. And I'm probably running those wheels on the back, but we'll see. So anyway, that's it from me. The bad weather's on its way. I've got to put these things away now. A um, little bit of a this and that video, but I really wanted to get this thing out. And it's cheered me up a bit, which is awesome. So let's put it away. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.